Hi everyone. Uh, first of all, a very big congratulations to all the students who have already released their I-20s, who have got admits from different, different colleges and who are on the way to the visa interview. The first basic question which you will be encountering is which question, which consists of which university, which course, which is your major and which college. And the second question triggered will be which question once again uh, which consists of uh, which is the major course and where which locality which state and uh, which city so this is the second question and third question is also where questions where is this college where is this university uh, where is the location of the university so this will be the common third question here these three questions difficulty part is much easier you can answer these three particular questions in an easier way so these are the basic introductory questions and now comes the why question which includes why this university why this major why this location why this course why this college so these are the why questions this may be a bit difficult in encountering and this may be a bit difficult in convincing the visa officer and the next toughest why question is why only us so why only why us for your masters and why not india for masters and why only this course why not this course and why only this country why not canada or some dubai or something like that why not australia so these are a bit typical difficult questions so the questions would consist of how many siblings you have and who is your sponsor or who is funding you and uh, what is the income source of your sponsor or if you are working, they may ask about your income. What is your income? And what is the uh, sponsor's data? I mean, what what are your uh, sponsors doing? See, if you just say that your sponsor is your dad, then they may ask you, what is your sponsor doing? Or what is the income source of your dad? Uh, what does he do? I mean, if you come to say, my father is a real estate agent or something like that, they may question you, how many people will be working under your father? and what is the yearly income of your father so uh, are there any siblings or are there any dependents on him apart from you so these are the funding questions funding questions also consist of the who is your sponsor is there any loan and uh, what is the rate of the interest of the loan uh, will it will it be a burden for you in filling up the loan and is it necessary for you to take this much of loan and go for masters now so these are the basic questions of funding here they may go deep into your sponsors data and they may also ask about the income see for example there was a question triggered in chennai uh, consulate that uh, when a girl said that my father is a farmer and he rises paddy then uh, they went very deep into the question asking that uh, how many bags of uh, paddy does your father raise and uh, i do hard a question that when a boy answered uh, my father runs a bird farm uh, then how many birds do your father have so these are uh, the questions which were asked recently in fall uh, 2023 so if you are a working personality then uh, they may ask you which company you are working what is the name of your MNC what is your experience and uh, what are your roles and responsibilities what does your company exactly do who are clients of your company so explain your roles and responsibilities explain your role with an example and what is your income in your company and who are your company clients exactly what your company does and they may also ask you you have a very good job here then why are you leaving out everything here and now moving to us and is it necessary to study masters now living after your job right now these are the questions for the working people and they may go deeper into the technology when you explain this particular question roles and responsible question so they may ask about your uh, database and they may ask about your working platform i mean which platform are you working uh, how does your platform work so these are the questions which are being triggered to the working people and uh, some questions may include your future plans they may ask you about what are your future plans so which type of jobs are you expecting in your future uh, what is the pay that you are going to get in your future 
after this masters so these may be the future expected questions and uh, how is this particular masters going to help you in your career this is the biggest asked question uh, in fall 23 and they may include about your loan also and they may include about the questions like how are you going to repay back your loan who is going to repay back your loan and uh, your loan seems to be very high uh, your rate of interest on your loan seems to be very high who is going to pay back your loan and another question might be triggered as uh, how are you going to pay back your loan so these are the future questions uh, where they might be getting info from you that you are future, future ready so they may somehow test you whether you have plans or intention to come back to India or not in this particular case and they may ask you about what are your plans and what are your comeback plans what are you going to and what roles are you going to expect when you come back uh, what are the MNCs that are going to offer you uh, after completing of your masters and how this course is going to help you so in last of all in Hyderabad consulate a lot of people encountered these technical questions like uh, when they say something about their major means if they answer that I'm going to MSCS or MSDA or MSBA or something like that uh, the vivo went deep into the technical uh, questions and started asking about what is the database what is python uh, if you say that i'm working in i'm working on python platform then he started asking what are the libraries in python what is the numpy so people have been triggered these type of technical questions if you are saying to the vivo that you are from data science background or you are ug course consists of data analytics or CAC or MEC or civil or finance or something like that when you mention your subjects in your questionnaire then just go through all the technical questions uh, particularly in your UG subjects and make sure that you are ready to give the answer of the technical questions the students who have directly going to masters after completing of their UG may be asked like what is your major in UG what are the subjects have you completed in your UG and how this course is going to help you and what do you know about the college so what do you know about the college and is there any research work going on the college so this was also one of the major question asked in fall 2023 some students face the questions like uh, what is the project that you have completed in your undergraduation explain your undergraduation project and uh, was your output in your undergraduation project 100% correct or you, have you got your 100% output for sure so these were the questions asked to the UG students who are directly going to the MS so and here comes the rejection questions like why should I give you this visa and uh, if you say the location they may doubt your location and they may start asking like why only this location since a lot of South Indians have been settling in uh, states like Texas, Atlanta, Missouri, etc. So when you so some of the viewers doubt the location. See, a lot of people are settling in Texas. So they may be triggered a question like, why only this location? When you say that I'm going to Texas, why only Texas? Why not New York or why not uh, Boston? They may be asking this particular question, and uh, they may be asking, do you have any relatives in the U.S.? Have you done any sort of uh, groundwork and, I, and you might have been entered they doubt that you have done all the groundwork they may also ask you like you have mr xxx like a uh, uh, relative for you and are you going to stay in that particular person's house and uh, do you have any seniors or do you have any relatives or do you have any siblings in the us so and another case is that you have any sibling or uh, your brothers or sisters who may be f1 or h1b holders and this may result in the rejection questions like oh do you have a F1 holder or you have a H1B holder and where he's staying he may press out the questions like uh, okay he is saying there itself and now you are moving to the same location so please select the location uh, which doesn't match with the F1 holder who is already staying in the US so the people who are having a gap in their career so who have completed their ma UG around uh, uh, 21 or 22 and having a one or two years gap in their career may be asking the questions like why this gap what is the reason for this gap uh, were you engaged in any sort of internships or were you working so this gap plays a major role in visa rejection so a lot of people get rejected due to this gap questions 
And another questions like include uh, changing the major questions. See, in your under graduation, you may be studying uh, a MEC or civil or EC or triple E or finance or mathematics or something like that. And now you are going to data analytics, cyber security, MS, IT or something like that, CSC. And uh, this particular change of the major will be will give a very huge impact on your visa. So the VIVO may think that you are not eligible for changing the major. If you are working, then you have to convince the visa officer that you have been working under the platform uh, which you are going to study in the master's. See, for example, if you are taking data science or cyber security in the master's and your undergraduation is some mechanical civil or something civil or something like that, then you should convince him that you were interested, personally interested in that particular data science or um, cyber security subject since you were uh, plus two or UG and you should, con uh, you should confirm him that you have done some sort of internships or you have done your undergraduate major project or minor project in that particular stream itself and here you should also uh, carry some sort of proofs like you have done a certification course or small internships or you have done a small projects or presentations on that particular subject in your college itself or in your working itself and you have participated in a lot of hackathons or something like that just carry some or the other uh, paper so that you may convince him that uh, you are being interested since you are UG or you are plus two you have been interested in that particular thing and you are and you are capable that you, you may complete your course in that particular stream uh, in some cases you may get rejected due to lack of GRE score in US uh, it is considered as uh, science technology engineering and management courses so these courses come under stem so for this particular courses some universities are making GRE as a mandatory and some universities may offer you I-20 without GRE also. But here, even though the university uh, gives you I-20, a visa officer may think that uh, in this particular science, technology, engineering and management which comes under STEM category, uh, he may reject your visa due to lack of your GRE score. So please make sure that if your course comes under this particular thing, then uh, confirm once from the department whether GRE is a mandatory or not. If possible, uh, carry a mail from your institution uh, to visa interview uh, stating in the mail that your course which you are being opting uh, has no GRE guidelines. So no GRE is necessary for your course. So it will be an add-on for you people in the visa interview. Please do follow me for more stuff guys. I will be adding more and more videos regarding the visa interview. Please like, share and subscribe my channel.